Dude, Seth, we gotta get a YouTube video up. Okay, what do we do it? Natty or not, Seth Ferrosi. What do you think? Here we do it. Fuck it, everybody. I'm game. Okay. I've never done like a natty or not. I get a ton of questions on people. So you said everybody, like everybody. we're not doing one person. No, not one. Shit talking gets involved in this subject. So that's kind of why I've always shunned away from it. I'm taking this as he came in here with this idea as uh, as fun. I mean, there's a ton of people out there that, that look like they're on stuff that could be on a little bit of shit or have taken things, may not anymore. And a lot of young guys, they, do I know everybody on this list? There might be a few uh, oddballs, IG guys, TikTok guys. This is gonna be fun. But I'll just throw you my phone. You'll just take a browse through and assess as you please. All right, <laughs> Alex Eubank. Oh man. <sighs> man, that's a crazy transformation. He is on the fucking border. I like Alex, I've talked to him uh, a handful of times on IG. Um, seems like a seems like a good kid. He says he's natty, and I know he's made a lot of videos about him possibly transitioning over to the dark side. It looks like he takes something. He does have good genetics. Like look at his chest from whenever he was 18 there. You can't say yes or no. I think he potentially could be taking uh, some type of oral or SARMs. Went to the doctor, got his bloods, and he was on like enclomiphene or some sort of CERN. Like, okay. like a Natty or not, like, are you taking gear or not? Right. Like, if you're taking SARMs or, or it's like... It's all in the same. Oh, you think SARMs are unnatural? Yes. Oh, we are. Then fuck no, he's not natural. I think I think most people actually consider like like SARMs are unnatural. They are. You are playing with your hormones. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but yeah, I mean, you could say pro hormones or pro hormones because you can buy them at the store. I would say if you take anything that doesn't happen in your body, that's no. if we're saying that, then no, he's yeah. not natural. You got the pump, you got the angles, you got the camera lighting, you got all these things. They use it to their advantage for these pictures for sure. Um, so it can give that that unnatural look. Potentially he, he has taken things in his career. Do I think he abuses it? No way. The dude that's popping off, you see him everywhere, literally everywhere. His okay. face is fucking training videos, the psycho shit, the anime shit. It's that shizzy lifts kid. Man. The pythons. You're saying this dude's natural? He's claiming natural, it's in There's the bio. no fucking way. Is this an edited photo? I don't know, it looks like an iPhone. Dude. <laughs> This dude, this dude's got some serious arms. He trains hard, doesn't he? He does train hard. Yeah, because I've seen these training videos of him. Oh. This is 2018. The coach don't tell him what to do. He tells the <laughs> fucking gym teacher what to do. Oh. I just don't, like, I don't know if like, you don't go to the grocery store and oh see Oh my that. God. Dude, I don't know. First glance, it does not look like he's natural. But that guy right next to him, right, is like, like open about everything that guy's taking trend you name it like he competes he's i think he just got his ifbb pro card like last year and he's breaking his heart here. and he's standing next to him and he's bigger he's got regardless if he's natural or not i like that he's a meathead and, and like because a lot of guys don't train like him he's got that little bit of crazy in him and i like it if it leads down to the dark side we will find out Ooh. that's his blood brother they absolutely fucking love the gym just as much as i do if you love the gym as much as I do, you are going to be tempted to say, fuck it, let's try some things and see how I react so that I can continue to get better in the place that I love. That's what led me to taking steroids was I love the gym more than anything in the world. And I wanted to be a pro bodybuilder more than anything in the world. So I was willing to risk anything to get there. Now I've been pretty open about things, but these guys are building a following off of being natural or claiming natural or anything like it. I think that they do dabble with things. Nothing crazy by no means because then it would throw up massive red flags. He's like fucking everywhere right now. Yeah. Uh, that's that Sam Sullet kid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's like asking if I'm natural. I just found him maybe a couple weeks ago because it just popped up on my YouTube. Man, he uh, he's, yo he's young too, isn't he? This is all I see, okay? This is the reason that I like this kid. Um, I see like parts of me in him because this guy is definitely fucking batshit crazy. He has his shit together. He's his videos. He's calm, cool, collected. He just films by himself. In the films car. by does his own thing. He is he is introverted. Uh, he is introverted in his own ways, but extroverted probably around people that he really enjoys being around. He's he's in it. Mutant. He is fucking in it. Uh, you can't pass judgment upon people for what they want to do with their lives because Sam seems to be having a massive impact on the, the fitness community, the training community, the bodybuilding community in a positive way, even though he is doing some very 
insane off the wall shit. I did the same things. Um, he's public about a lot of stuff, but with the good comes the bad. And, and a lot of people like to focus on the bad, uh, which would be his acne, the, the, the issues with steroid abuse, the, the long-term effects. But then at the same time, nobody would give two flying fucks about who Sam is if he wasn't being who he is now. Right. So him being exactly who he is to his core and being open about it and, and, and everything, more power to the man. Steroids do not affect everybody in the same way. Right, it's like the shit you were talking about in the last few videos, like death, like you could get fucking killed by anything. It's the way like fucking you, sh you react to certain fucking compounds, you never you, know. You never know until you try. Like I trialed and error just about everything under the sun. Like I was telling you the other day, like I've done a lot of really wild shit in my, in my time. And the only way to find out what would happen to you is to do it. Right. I like him. Killing like the content game, he's more focused on like social media and like nice. making re real content. It's uh, yeah, Justin sure. James West. Oh, dude, he does a good job. I'd say that it's uh, it's him that I would say would be the one that would be natural. He has a really great physique. Um, he got in really good shape in this picture, but I have seen natural guys that look like that, that have good genetics, because he does have good genetics. This one here is, he's he's this is before his show for sure. I think, I mean, I could say that he's natural. He seems like a decent guy. He seems like he loves what he's doing. And that's all you can ask for people that are doing things like this. I'd say out of everybody so far, he's the one that I would say is natural. This kid started training at 13. He's been shredded as fuck forever. Oh. You ain't gonna fucking, you ain't gonna you tell me. Know. I know, it's you Tristan. Know. Yep, I've talked to Tristan uh, a, a good bit. Seems like an actually genuinely good Human. guy. Him and his brothers, um, stupid genetics running his family. Yeah. Stupid genetics. Um, the conditioning stays. Dude, it's always around with him. But he's, there's, I've seen the videos that Doucette did on him about the, about like being too skinny and, or too shredded all the time. Don't and like shit. You know that this young man is going through his own battles because if he's training like he is doing those things and eating like he is, he is obsessed. Obsessed. I don't know, man. I think that he's probably dabbled with a few things. More recent, um, in the past couple years, just simply because he's he loves the gym. It doesn't like seem like I progress stops for him. It's like been, it's been pretty linear while staying lean. Yeah, I mean, but at the same time, like you can throw in an oral for six weeks and notice a difference, for especially sure. if you are on point like he is with everything that he does. And why would you do such a thing? To learn, to have fun. He could be natural because, I mean, he does have crazy genetics. And if this fucking kid just ate 4,000 calories like a bodybuilder, <laughs> he, he could add carbs. He could add carbs into his diet and all of a sudden gain 10 pounds. <laughs> like you said, he, he's had such steady progress. I could say that he's natural just because he has never made massive jumps mm -hmm. in weight. Never. He is stronger than a motherfucker, though. He is super strong, especially for his size. I'll say natural. Natural. Yeah. Trend twins. Oh, I was, uh, yeah, they're short. They're, they're like short. trolls like me. Yeah, I think it was like end of last year was when they officially announced that like they were getting on something. And I think they just did like tests together at the same time, like a test cycle, whatever. Uh -huh. And it might've been like just 500 basic. I they still they, looked crazy before. This I, is This is before. I heard that these two are insanely strong. Obviously they're not natural, but by no means do I think that these two take as much as people think they do. Their name was catchy. They called themselves the Trend Twins. It's awesome, it's fun, it's entertaining. Like they're big, they're, 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 they're swole as fuck right Full. here, fool. So they do have some shit running through their body, but if you look at like, you look at somebody like, like me whenever I was taking some shit, it was, it was much, it was even more intense simply because like, I was taking more shit. They look like they're supposed to look at this age. They got some meat on their face. Like you can see the water retention. You can see that they're taking stuff, but they are not like insanely separated and defined because they're putting on new tissue onto their body. They are where, what they should be doing. However, they're also like, if you look at Sam, you're like, Sam's running some serious androgens because you can see it seeping from his fucking pores. These guys still have like, clean skin, they still have like, they still have like what I consider like Youthful. the baby fat. Yeah. I would say the, these dudes, like they don't even look like they're taking trend. Pictures and videos, they, that's, there's no way they're on trend. <laughs> no, I, I, I love those guys. They are like, they're just comedic. They're just fucking bro. 
Yeah, dude, they're meatheads. This is this is this it's is funny as fuck. Their jokes are just comical. It's great, um, but I think that there's no. I don't even think they crested 750 in test. I don't even think they take that much, because if they were with their genetics, they'd be much fucking bigger. Right. They don't even need to. You're not supposed to be at that dosage if you're early on in it. You're not supposed to be. I'd say that these guys are probably around 500 migs. You'll see these two get bigger, more mature muscle. I think they just got with Kyle Wilkes too with training. So and and, and should dial it in even more. Oh, he's he's awesome. Phenomenal coach. Obviously, these two aren't natural, but I don't think they're even nearly where people would say they are. Just because their names are trend twins, they know what they're doing. They're good. They're good at social media. It's marketing. It's marketing. They're good. They're doing a great job. They're wearing fucking headbands, looking like Rambo. Fuck yeah, like an old 80s model. video. They're walking to the gym with like fucking Halo Spark yeah, helmets on. give me it. Come on, that's fun. It's supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to have fun, but I think that, uh, I think over time we're gonna see these two get bigger and bigger. Before your drugs, steroids, drugs, and life video, you know, five, six years ago, oh. it was you wouldn't see, there might be one person on social media that was like open it was, about anything. It was, Tom Platts talked about it, but he was Tom Platts. He wasn't in right. the social media era. Uh, Rich Piana, and then me, right. like, we were some of the first two that would fucking blast it about just being like, yes, this is part of it, accept it, but just be mindful and understand that. So I think that, but yeah, six years ago when and I like did the steroids 2016, drugs in life, 2017, when like 2017. Instagram and YouTube started popping off, like mm -hmm. it was absurd. People would freak the fuck out even more than now if like someone came out about being on something or someone was like, because that's like the whole fake natty era. Yeah. But yeah. now it's like, I feel like it's more common that someone's on something on social media. A lot of these fans live up to the word of what these people say. So they have a lot of weight on their shoulders and, and they're learning just as much as, as anybody else in life. Because especially being young, you're 22, 23, 24. Fucking... I did some very bad, not so good <laughs> things <laughs> at that age. If you're under the age of 21 years old, I would not touch anything. I would say 21 is whenever you could be like, okay, like I've worked hard, I've developed this, I have a foundation, train for a few years. Right. Like you can't just say, I'm gonna start lifting weights at 21 and I'm gonna start taking gear. No, you should have, you should have a foundation built. I started training when I was 13 years old, started training at a gym at 14 years old. I didn't start taking stuff until I was like almost 20, like right there, a few months before I turned 20. Was that too early? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. However, I've been training since I was 14 yeah, years almost old. almost a decade. So I had six years of hardcore training under my belt. And when I was 17, 18 years old, there are pictures of me that people were like, you are fucking on some shit. And I was like, no, I'm not. And then I started taking some shit and they're like, you weren't taking stuff and now you are. I'm like, yes. So it's just this progressionary phase because you love the gym, you love it. It makes you feel alive and then you want to enhance that. The next person's Greg. Oh, the next person yeah, Greg. is Greg. People are saying that he's on more than I've what, seen the like, videos like, because every now and then he'll fly off the fucking handlebars about more than TRT and people are saying he's on trend. Greg is not on trend, there's no way. He's on TRT, obviously. He talks about it regularly. Yeah, I mean, dude, he, Greg's always in shape. He's always in shape. Um, Greg has uh, been around, he's older than I am, and I could tell you right now that if I cut peanut butter pretzels, <laughs> <laughs> out of my diet, <laughs> I caught him out of my diet, I'll lose weight. Greg, Greg has been like, I rolled out of bed, this is what I look like here. You're like, yep, yeah, you look like you're on TRT. And then post-workout, you're like, Greg, you look like you're taking trend because your skin on your legs is paper thin. And look at all the veins and you're sweaty and you look, yeah, because he just got done fucking biking a marathon. Right. He's been fasted and he looks wild. But no, I don't think Greg's taking anything. I think he's TRT and trains really hard and has a very strict on-point diet. Uh-oh. Mike O'Hearn, AKA Mike O'Tren. <laughs> duck eggs. Baby, don't duck hurt me. <laughs> Mike is one of the sweetest fucking guys I've ever met. Mike is a tremendous guy, sweetheart of a guy, so he met Bob. This is years ago at the Arnold. Years later, years later, Bob saw Mike and I wasn't around. Mike walks up to Bob and says, hey Bob, how's everything going? Great to see you, you still working with Seth? All this shit, and Bob's like, how in the fuck do you remember me after one meeting? Do I think he's natty? I think that he is natty, but I do not think he's human. <laughs> he's fucking Superman, I say, dude. I say Mike is an alien. I say that Mike is an alien. He is not a real human being. I think that he's from a different planet. There is no reason, there is no amount of gear that you can take that still says you being a 50 plus year old man, you should be able to bench 
405 pounds for reps and do all the crazy, wild, fucked up shit he does. No fucking way. Why are you doing that? How are you doing that? Not from Earth. Not from Earth. No. Not from Earth. End because of stories, that's it. End of story. Yeah, not from Earth. Just He's an eggs. alien. Duck eggs. He's duck eggs. Liver king. Oh, Jesus The liver Christ king. In heaven. No, obviously he's not natural. Whenever he started claiming natural, I'm like, God, shit balls. Why are you doing that? The email with all the, with all the gear on there. Thing is, Omnitrope. That growth hormone is some of the wildest growth hormone I've ever taken. There's different levels of growth hormone. You can get the Chinese, you can get those, and that's some fucking knockoff bullshit. Does it work? Yeah, sure. I could take 10 IUs of it and be like, pretty good. You can see a difference. I can feel a difference. I've been taking growth hormone long enough. However, it's some generic bullshit. Two IUs of gentropin, pharmaceutical grade, shit on 10 IUs of that. This fucking dose of Omnitrope. I went and called my guy and I said, I would like to try this Omnitrope. And I'm like, I saw the Liver King's taking a fuckload of it. I want to see what it's like. And he's like, He's like, bro, it's a lot. I'm like, cool. I took it for two weeks. I took 10 IUs a day, and then I took 16 IUs a day to see the difference. Holy fuck. I gained eight pounds in one week. I held water and was fuller than a motherfucker. It was awesome. However, I gained eight pounds. I don't need fucking eight pounds. If you take 16 IUs of Omnitrope, if anybody takes 16 IUs of Omnitrope, you are going to be fuller and bigger and look like him. You're gonna be fucking full 24 seven. I was full 24 seven. I could get a pump in literally one set. It was insane. I could eat this entire jar of peanut butter pretzel, train my balls off and wake up with veins in my abs. Leaner. So I think that if this dude would have just been honest about who he was out of the gate, I think his following would be tenfold. I think that if he came out and said, yes, I use performance enhancing drugs, he probably would be even bigger than he is now. I don't know him. This all could be an act on, on, on the internet. Tell you what, it's pretty fucking cringy. It's not primal taking gear though. <laughs> Cavemen weren't on fucking 16 IUs. It could have been better for him if he was much more open and honest, but then that goes against his whole marketing right. plan. I hope he made a lot of money and does his things and rides off out into the sunset. Jeff side. Oh yeah. Came right after Ziz. Mm -hmm. Golden era boy. He did have a. He he has a great physique. I guess he was the youngest guy to turn IBU pro. Yeah, I think that he dabbled. I put him into the category of like Alex. If everything was off, he might be like, no, I just I just never have. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's like, yeah, I took some stuff. I took Anavar. I took some SARMs. That would not surprise me in the slightest bit. But if he claimed natural and there was a way to prove that these people were natural, I would have to say, yeah. But um, I think I'd put Jeff into the category that he probably was natural for a long time, maybe dabbled with some stuff here and there, and then uh, that was it. Then right after him came David Laid, known for being like the, king, the new king of aesthetics. These people in person are probably not as big as they look on. No, everyone says they look small in person. That's what I mean. Like there's, that's the, that's that fucking pictures and lightings. Alex. Yeah, because whenever you see him in person, you're like, oh, you look natural. Right. So I mean, yeah, I mean, So what I do you, could. how do you feel about him pulling 675 at 19? Oh. A lot of fucking young kids look up to him. He almost like kind of avoids the topic. Personally, he was like my fucking biggest inspiration, but. I mean, he's got a phenomenal physique. You can see why. He hasn't been in his prime for like three to four years because he got a fucking back injury and he's like been dealing with like rehab. So like he doesn't really go heavy anymore, he doesn't train, he's lost a lot of size, but like he just kind of maintains. I think he was he was probably on low 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 dosage of, of orals. So just because of his fullness and looking at the upper body. These guys work. Yeah. They're not not doing shit. That's not what this video is. But I don't think he's natural. He's a little it's a little too much to claim natural. To achieve that is, uh, and, and he has great genetics, but he's little on the stringier side. So in order to get to that level, I believe that, um, and nothing crazy, like he's not fucking blasting shit into his shoulders, no. He might not even be taking injectables. I could say he's definitely taking some orals, but it wouldn't surprise me if he was taking injectables and doing it at uh, very low dosages, um, yeah. Not natural. Okay. Lex Little. He's got a 605 squat, 405 bench, and a 675 dead, and he doesn't weigh over 200 pounds. Claims natural. Man. The wheels. Mm. Mm. 
Mmm. It's iffy because these guys take a lot of gym photos during their pump. Mass over manipulation with like uh, lighting angles and the barrel distortion of the camera lens. Absolutely. fucking yeah. Absolutely. I haven't seen him in person. And then whenever you take some of these pictures where he's like in regular clothes, if I saw him, I'd be like, oh, look, he lifts weights. You just use the internet all the time. Like this picture of him here, I'd just be like, yeah, that kid lifts weights. And they were like, yeah, he's a power lifter. I'm like, oh, he's probably strong. But then you tell me he benches 405 and I'm like, Ooh, that's a strong lift for a little man. I mean, he's, dude, great physique. Using the camera angle and the lens and the twisting waist, like it gives it that look. That's wild. His upper body, I'd say that you could achieve this naturally, yes. He doesn't look blown out. He has great arm development, that's, that's obvious. Stays really lean. To me, like I'd say that this kid's been working out for, he, if he's working out from the time he's 16 to, to 22, but that's six years of training. You know, you can, you can achieve that look if you have good genetics and you pay close attention to your diet, eat good food, quality, but then those things. Ooh. I mean, dude's got some fucking wild, his quads make his upper body look natural, which is usually the opposite way around, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I don't know much about him. 605. Whew. Man, these youngins are strong. These guys are strong. Oh, if you talk, again, if we throw SARMs in the here, yeah, I would look at SARMs as like a pre-workout. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> like, yeah, fucking fuck eat it. them for lunch. Yeah, I'd be like, fuck it, let's try them. Yeah, like I'll do some. Yeah, fuck it, we'll all do some. Because they're le easily attainable, yeah. no side effects. Let's try them, we'll all try them. Fuck it, four weeks, we'll all do it together. You might get cancer or a third eye, but. Fuck it, guess what? I'm 20 years old, I don't give a fuck about nothing. No. I care about the gym, the pump. pussy, and sweet pumps. If we're just saying steroids, natural. Um, if we're saying SARMs, no. Being young, you're supposed to experience life, okay? You're not supposed to sit here and always follow the fucking rules, in my opinion. You're not supposed to always be goody two shoes, kiss ass, oh, everything's perfect and look at my life, it's wonderful. I don't do everything ever wrong. Me and my girlfriend never fight. Nothing bad ever happens in my life. Look at me, you should be just like me. Fuck all that bullshit. Whenever you're young, you're supposed to experience life and chase after things that are unique and special. You don't get to be elite or great without intensity and passion, okay? It just doesn't fucking occur. And along the lines, you're gonna learn things about yourself. Whenever I was 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, I was living, living. I'm still doing it to this day. I still do wild shit. I still challenge myself in different ways. Now, whenever you're young, you're trying to figure things out. And these people, most of the people on the list, have a following that is very intense. Uh, my hat's off to you young gentlemen. I hope you continue to do cool shit, but also keep living. It's okay, you will be scrutinized for anything that you do. No matter what you do, people will scrutinize you, challenge you, say you're a piece of shit even though you have a heart and you're like, I'm not a piece of shit. Just because I wanted to try something new, you're not a bad person. You're not horrible for wanting to do something. You're not. It's just part of life and experiencing it. I did a lot of hard drugs when I was younger. Do I regret them? No. You know why I don't regret them? Because it tells me today I shouldn't do hard drugs. Do I regret taking steroids? No. Are they potentially in everything I did potentially gonna have me have a heart attack at 55? I don't know, maybe, but I have done some pretty incredible things that have led to me right now. I have multiple companies employing multiple people, doing great things like you can't live in regret and you can't live with doing what everybody says you should do. You know how many times my parents told me I was kind of fucking stupid? I can remember three. One of them was whenever I was working a job making fucking $90,000 a year, doing well for myself, and I said I'm gonna quit to chase after All-American Roughneck. They're like, what are you doing? You got a great job doing a good job with everything. And I'm like, yeah, I think that, uh, I think I'm gonna do it and go after my dreams of owning my own brand and doing something great. Seth, do you know how fucking stupid that sounds? I do. I do know how fucking stupid it sounds, but I'm gonna chase it. And fortunately it worked out and we have all of this today. If I would have listened to that, none of this would exist. So whenever you're young, you're learning. Whenever, you're, whenever you do fuck up and something bad does happen, you're gonna have to live with all that shit people are gonna say about you and be able to look them directly in the eye and say, fuck you. I'm gonna keep living. I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep experiencing life. 
So, with all these young men, natty or not, I don't give a fuck. You can take and do whatever you want to. It's all part of life. I just hope that along the way you are uh, appreciating how wonderful life actually is and the uniqueness that you get to wake up and work your balls off every single day. Um, and you guys are having a massive impact on the young community. However, um, if you do want to go and experience these things, be transparent about it. Be open. But also telling young people, like I do, I'll do right now, all young men watching this that are in your teenage years, don't take fucking steroids now. It's not worth it. You're too young. Let your body develop. Learn about work, food, nutrition, supplements. Try supplements. They're great. But work your fucking ever-loving balls off. Go have fun with your friends. Go to the gym and fucking bro out. But if you choose to take steroids, that is a personal choice. That is your choice. And if bad shit happens from it, you don't get to fucking cry about it. It's your fault. Just like whenever bad shit has happened to me with blood work, just like it might happen later on in my life, I don't get to fucking cry about it. That's why I appreciate every day and work my fucking balls off to make sure that if I do pass, people around me are going to have some really fun stories and also be in a better place with me being here for it. So, fuck everybody and do what you want to with your life. I guess we'll stay in store for more natty or nots. Keep being good motherfuckers. I love y'all. Have fun. Like and comment some of the people that you want to see me do uh, natty or nots on. Again, 